hey y'all welcome back and if you guys are new here welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a massive product empties video i haven't did one in a while because i just been collecting like i'm gonna try to show y'all i'm gonna try to separate everything versus me just pulling things out you know what whatever <laughs> we're just gonna I'm just gonna go and just figure it out as I go all right so the first products that I have here that I want to share with you all that I empty are some styling gel from softy and I have Impro styling gel as well and both of these are empty I can scrape a little bit but I ain't got time for that finish that one and I finished this one and I usually just pick these up from like Dollar Tree. I have two empty bottles of the Up and Up mouthwash. This is the Blue Mint flavor. So definitely got to get me some more. So I empty this Baby Magic lotion. This is my favorite lavender and chamomile. So I had a pack of razors that I empty out that I got from Marshalls and you get, I don't know how many you get in here. Okay, you get 12. I mean, they're good while they last and they get the job done for the moment so i did empty this pack so the next thing that i empty is the bath and body works antibacterial hand spray this is the scent vampire blood y'all i know the name is like alarming but it smells so good like the scent is really really girly and y'all probably like what and like yes it is like i think it's like jasmine and I could be wrong. I got the candle right here. I don't feel like getting reading the notes. I'm definitely going to be picking up another one um, when Halloween comes, when they start bringing out that Halloween stuff. So, yeah, I love this scent. So good. Speaking of some more Bath and Body Works, I empty the hand soap in Japanese Cherry Blossom. I use up Life of the Party. So, I use that up, as you guys can see also used up among the clouds i really like this and i picked this up and i used this so fast and i wanted the body spray but they were like all sold out so hopefully like when um bath the body works have like a sale i want to pick up the body spray and maybe the lotion and that's it like i don't really want to be picking up a lot because i got a lot of bath and body works that i plan on decluttering because i know what i like from bath and body works and i just kind of want to stick with it it takes a while to get through bath and body works um you know body sprays i can get through the lotion and the body wash it's the spray that just don't want to go nowhere i used up all of snowflakes and cashmere this is another one of my favorite scents it definitely needs to be turned into a perfume like like what it has like a cozy fall winter scent to it and yeah i ran through this really quickly i'm pretty sure i have another one in my collection so i empty that also empty this body fantasy spray this is in the scent midnight frost i found this at the beauty supply store and fell in love i have another one that i'm working on as well as you guys can see it's empty it's just a little drop i don't care about that i got some more gel <laughs> y'all probably like girl Listen, I use gel like crazy. I use gel every day. So I got two. Are they, yeah, these the same size. I'm pretty sure I got, yeah, I got these from the beauty supply store and pro style gel. So I got some more gel that I empty. All gone. And let's see the other one. All gone. So, yep, I, I need my gel. So I finished my secret deodorant. Um, oh, I got another mouthwash three that i empty <laughs> so i got three mouthwashes in here so i finished the dove antibacterial um body wash so i definitely need to get another one this is good like when you're getting off of work and you just kind of want to get all the germs off of you for the day so i definitely need to get another one of these so i finished this i have another one <laughs> i got four of these like uh, what <laughs> <laughs> so I got another one that I empty. Like that's crazy. You guys know that I recently hauled this to you all in one of my vlogs and I finished it, but it's empty. It's it just smells like it has like a natural I don't know what it smells like. It just got a weird smell. Would I repurchase? No. I'm not gonna run out and repurchase it. So next thing I finished was the suave ocean breeze, y'all. 
I'm getting another one of these. I mean, I've used this before in the past, but first of all, I'm loving the new packaging that Suave has. Every time I got in the shower and I used this, I would just use so much because it was just taking me back to back in the day for some reason. And it smells so good. So I'm definitely repurchasing this. Um, like I've tried it before, but it's been a while. So just, you know, reminiscing. It just smells so good. All right, I finished a perfume. I got this perfume for Christmas. This is by Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. <laughs> Estee Lauder. Beautiful Magnolia perfume. I empty this all up, honey. The longevity on this is not super long. You will have to respray throughout the day. But other than that, it smells really nice. It has like a nice, like mature scent to it. So I like that. Um, I finished these shower caps from Dollar Tree. Um, you get eight in here. So these are empty. So I finished that. A eyebrow pencil here from Benefit. This is the precisely my brow pencil. I am in a number five. And honey, it's gone. Okay. I love this pencil. It's just so expensive. I love when it goes on sale on Ulta and I can pick up one. I need to start picking up two. This just make your brows look so bomb. Like... I love it. So yeah, I finished this. I also finished a lifter lip gloss from Maybelline. This is in the color um, Ice. I can probably scrape a little bit more. Like I had to take the stopper out. I was watching Jess. I remember Jasmine Bullard. She did a empties video. And she was saying that she had to take the stopper out of her lifter glosses and to get the rest. So that's what I did. And I can probably scrape some more out. But honey, I'm ready to move on. Y'all see, I got all of these lip glosses back here. All of my lip lifter glosses are up there. I'm ready to move on. But I'm excited that that's gone. I have some eyelashes that I empty. And the next thing I have is this scented hand soap from Sand and Fog. Sand and Fog. And this is in a um, scent teak wood. And I found this at Marshall's. And I like the smell of this. Um, I like the packaging as well. But this stuff was so watery. The soap was literally running out my hand like some water. I'm like, dang, I ain't put no real water on my hand yet. And the soap is just running down my hand. I'm like, and it didn't lather up like that well to me. So I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this. Like if we really needed some soap in the house and I didn't feel like going to Target and I'm there. And like they didn't have that many options and this was there, I'd pick it up. But <laughs> If I got options, this is not my first option. So I'm definitely not going to run back out and get this. Um, I would like try more of their candles versus their hand soap. It's really thin and watery, so they just need to reformulate it. And I mean, yeah, <laughs> but I love the packaging. It's cute. Another Bath and Body Works lotion. This is Winter Cherry Blossom. I really did enjoy this as well. I do have the spray and the body wash. I finally finished my favorite um, primer. This is from Neutrogena. It is a little bit at the bottom, but I found myself like I was trying to get this out, but it's like when it's like me trying to get this out, it kept sliding on the side. I didn't know no other option to get this out. I guess I could have got the stopper out. Um, this is pricey though. I bought this like brought this like a while ago it, it lasts me a long time i really do like this primer um did i say neutrogena matte primer plus serum did i say that but yeah so i was like literally banging this on my face i was literally doing this <laughs> for this to come out it does come with a dropper maybe the next time i will take the um dropper not the dropper but the stopper out and just kind of get a, a spatula or something and get it out like a little makeup spatula um but yeah, but it is what it is. It's, it's done to me, but I really do enjoy that primer. I have some edge control from the beauty supply store. This is from the brand Magic Collection. I really do enjoy Magic Collection stuff. This is their edge effect. Um, what is this called? Uh, edge control. It is empty, honey. Um, so I have two candles here. The first one is Mahogany Vanilla. And the packaging, I didn't really like um because it just didn't fit my style like i'm this is more for somebody that's like neutral colors it just didn't fit my style so i was just ready to burn it this one is called wine cellar and i never heard of this one and i'm guessing it might have came out like during like a sale or something um it's at the bottom as well it smell like dark kiss you know dark kiss from um bath and body works so that's exactly 
it gave me that vibe i do feel like once it got towards the bottom like i didn't get it wasn't as strong as it was um when i first started to um you know burn it but once it got down to the bottom right here like to the very end like i would say like maybe right here or whatever it, it wasn't it didn't the throw on this candle wasn't given like it was when i first started to burn it but y'all it was giving me dark kiss vibes i'm like omg um the notes for this is um apples fresh fig cedar wood yeah that's it so <laughs> But, okay, so I know somebody going to say something. I'm pretty sure I said this before. I'm not taking that out because I'm, I know me. I'm not going to put this in a wax warmer. Like I said, I don't care about this being at the bottom. I'm not going to chop it up and put it in a wax. I don't even th think we have a wax warmer. And I'm not going to go buy one. I'm just not. Like, I want to move on to the next candle. And for I'm just not. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Tons of makeup wipes. I run through makeup wipes like crazy. I got like Bolero wipes from Dollar Tree. All of these are from Dollar Tree, actually. Yeah, so I like using makeup wipes to each his own. Uh, but I use makeup wipes to wipe off swatches. Like, I use makeup wipes for multiple things. So, like I said, to each his own. I know everybody don't want to or use makeup wipes but i'm gonna buy me a pack of makeup wipes i'm sorry and i just it just it's just a part of your makeup collection <laughs> i got this from the dollar tree I had this for a while and i was like you know what let me just try this it's from global beauty care this is one of those masks where you put it on like a sock like you just wrap it around it's like a plastic and you put it on like a sock and it peels away all the dead skin on your feet. You guys know that brand, uh, what is it called? Baby Foot or something like that? That brand is like 20 something dollars. And it does go on sale often, I notice, on Ota. Like, let me just try it. It ain't, It's not going to do anything. It, it's not going to peel nothing. So I tried this, y'all, $1.25. I promise you. I say like two days later after I use this, I'm like, why is my feet so rough? Like I just like mind you, my feet were my feet were rough before I put the uh put that mat before I put this uh mask on my foot. They were rough. Like like I've been outside scraping against the, the curb. I'm scared because I'm like, what is going on with my feet? Like they were scraping my my feet were scraping my legs at night. Like like i just been in a cat fight i know it's not that mask so when i looked at my feet i don't think i still got the picture in my phone if i do i will share it with you all but i don't think i do y'all my feet look so disgusting like i'm like i know i'm putting lotion and stuff on my feet and i it dawned on me it was the mask my feet was peeling it was in the stages of like peeling and each day it was peeling like i didn't see like dead as far as i know i didn't physically like visually see like dead skin in the bed it probably was but at some point i was able to like actually peel some of it off as well but i just left it alone as well and let it do its thing my feet is so soft and it's been like a month probably almost two months since i did it i don't know what's in this stuff but i will not to be paying if i see like that baby foot stuff like i think that's what it's called it's like 20 something dollars why when i can go to dollar tree and get this it this stuff works i'm telling you all because it works my feet were peeling they were peeling it took about um i say like a week and a half like just about two weeks it worked i was so impressed it's i was like oh my god it's like sometimes the shop they won't even bring out the cheese grater they are just like scrub your feet girl i need that cheese grater like what are you doing but i know what i need to do and i've been keeping my feet up ever since i've been scrubbing my feet i've been taking care of them i've been taking care of my feet and they're so soft i haven't seen none of these since so i hope i find them again and i'm gonna buy a few packs but oh my god i was so impressed i said i can't believe that dollar 25 foot mask i was like why is my feet like peeling away like a banana so i have a uh what is this girl um hand sanitizer this is the eucalyptus and spearmint um i think i got this I don't know. I think somebody gave this to me because I know I didn't buy this. So I finished that. That is all gone. Y'all know I use this up. Aleve. Like I don't play like 
like who okay i also finished this bath and body works um lotion it's like a travel size lotion this is lavender and vanilla so i empty out these fabuloso disinfecting wipes i get these from dd's Dee discount i'm pretty sure i showed you all these in my empties once before but it's empty finish the aussie conditioner um i feel like you finish your conditioner um quicker than you do your shampoo because you know it helps with detangling and just you know make your hair softer and you know you just need conditioner so the next thing that i have in here this one this actually dried out on me yeah this dried out on me um like you know this is the kat von d dagger tattoo liner in trooper black and i'm i hate that it dried out on me like and then the last three items i have are body washes so i got fireside flurries oh this is actually a body lotion so this is one of my favorite scents from bath and body works like and then last but not least, I empty this um, Dial Lavender Oil Body Wash. This smells so good. I got this from Foreman Mills. I think I was mixing this. I was mixing the two. And you, I'm so slow. I am so slow. You know what I started doing? I started mixing my body washes together. That's a way to help you get through your collection. Um, I mix my body sprays all the time. It never dawned on me to, to mix my body washes. I'm just like, I got to use this one and that's it. Like I was disciplined. Like I got to use this and that's all. And then I'm like, wait. And I, I mix these two best combination. The lavender mixed with um, this right here. All the notes in this. Perfect. Perfection. And I'm like, oh. So, yeah, that's everything that's in this bag, honey, that I have empty. Yeah, I want you guys to see, like, all the mess over here. <laughs> I look forward to, like, emptying my body care. I want to have more makeup. I will see you guys in another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this empties. And if you are new here, please subscribe if you like what you see. If you're just stopping by, that is fine as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.